It is the final resting place of some of BC's most notorious criminals and has been for more than a hundred years. But as Paul Johnson reports, even though it's right in the middle of Metro Vancouver, most people don't even know it exists. Across the path from a cluster of high-rises in New Westminster is a patch of ground that even locals know little, if anything, about. We walk through here two or three times a week. Oh, well, I think I've heard about that. You'll find the gate on the edge of Glenbrook Ravine Park. And if you look carefully, you'll see several rows of concrete markers with numbers on them. These are gravestones, marking the final resting place of prisoners who died in the old BC penitentiary. You don't want to have criminals buried with your uh, precious family members. John Mitchell is a historian who's explored the cemetery and the little that's known about the men buried there, who died between 1912 and 1968 and didn't have families willing to accept their remains. There were every class of criminal, some with notorious rap sheets that made the papers, others obscure and they had to be buried somewhere. So they had to find a place to intern them, so they went to the far reaches of uh, the grounds that they controlled, and that was this little parcel of land. There were 43 prisoners who were buried here, but historians only have records for 14 of them. The rest of them, their identities, their stories, were probably lost to history. BC Penn was torn down in the early 80s. Today, the most visible legacy is a building known as the Castle, which houses a pub. And the rest of the property has been redeveloped. But the cemetery couldn't be moved and has now been encircled by the new community. Like the stories of many buried here, the cemetery known as Boot Hill is a mystery to most and an intriguing part of BC history. Paul Johnson, Global News.